Excuse us. Pardon me, ma'am. Sorry, sorry. Move it, asshole. Oh, thank God. We got good seats. Damn right we did. What's up? We got the drink. We got the popcorn. And the candy. I think we're ready, man. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. The bathroom here is nuts. Oh, my God. You made it. Yeah. It's about time, Nathan. Damn. Shh. The movie's starting. I am Dustin Goes to Hollywood. I'm Nathan Simmons. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you just doing a loud hum? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh shit! No, sorry, I was still asleep from watching this fucking movie. Uh, hey, I'm Ali Moore, Bazinga, and this is the Silver Linings playlist, a podcast that tries to find the silver linings. You know what we are, Jesus. I, you know, I will say I'm a little bummed out that you didn't pronounce yourself as uh, you didn't announce yourself as Paranormal Activity Ali. <laughs> say that five times fast, Nathan. That's the Italian remake of this movie. <laughs> oh my god! Here's the thing: we're about three fourths of the way through the season. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the listeners that have been with us for a while have noticed but around this time we really start to just give up so <laughs> <laughs> you do this for half a year and you're just like i'm i'm ready for that vacation sure so sure uh as mally so uh eloquently put it this is the silver linings playlist blah, blah, blah. cinema's bleakest some again things yeah, yeah 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 but guys this is still we're, we're still like tacking on to the spooky linings sure. because this is still another horror movie we're doing mm -hmm. here in uh, november spooky holdout spooky holdout it, it, it just wouldn't leave us it's been following us around since we were eight years old that's right ever since we were eight <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Paranormal Activity, we're covering the OG. Guys, this movie is, for some reason, it is very difficult to find streaming. It's on like Amazon and stuff like that. Yeah. But like Netflix has all of them except for the original mm -hmm. for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. You can watch it if you have a Stars subscription on uh, Prime. Which I did. Why? Well, what? no, I signed up for the trial to watch oh. and then immediately canceled it. <laughs> oh, I should have done that. I rented this. <laughs> oh, Nathan, you poor, sad, sweet summer child. That's okay. You don't want to watch any of 50 cents 74 tv shows that he has on stars what hang on what hang on can we spend the next hour and a half talking about that instead <laughs> oh yeah no it's like 50 cents seems to be like a shareholder for stars because he has produced a number of shows for them huh is there what is one of them like an adaptation of his video game blood in the sand <laughs> it, which is an adaptation of his life <laughs> right he had a video game he did he's had like a couple yeah huh which i think started originally as a grand theft auto game if i'm not mistaken something like that and then they twisted it yeah yeah wow good times but yeah no paranormal activity um uh, we're covering it not only because uh we, apparently there was just a new one just announced yes. like yeah by the time we're recording this which was wild i did not plan for that it was announced this week and it comes out in like two weeks <laughs> so bold lots of faith in that one it's a bold move <laughs> by the time this episode drops yeah how many of these are there now there's six right now i think there's six yeah. yes i think there's six so the seventh is coming out yeah but it's like a soft reboot it re Reboot, reboot and it looks like uh half of it isn't even found footage <laughs> john wilkes booth is coming back <laughs> it's a soft reboot honestly if if john like if they do a paranormal activity set in like lincoln time i'm, mm. I'm here for that that sounds fucking rad yeah. lincoln time john wilkes booth and he's got ed it's a reboot soft reboot nice all right all right anyways the reason I picked this is because there was another movie coming out about ghosts and demons and stuff this week, and it was supposed to be Ghostbusters Afterlife, mm -hmm. but that also got pushed. Aww. I saw the trailer for that before No Time to Die, and I, I was like, too. wow, finally, a serious Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the reviews are coming out. It, supposedly, it's good. Cool. I don't know. I, I've never had an attachment to Ghostbusters really like that. I do. I, I sincerely do. Well, um, I hope it's good. Oh, DC. So you had a miserable childhood. Well, no, I like them, but I've just I've never been like... Like, the fucking females in my Ghostbusters. No, no, and I'm not one of those either. I should reiterate. I did not give a shit. Not, artist formerly known as not an incel. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Nathan is a nice guy. I'm Absolutely. A nice guy. Like a, a genuine, not a, like a quote unquote nice guy. Well, and speaking of nice guys, our guest has been very patient. Yes, and I have one last thing to say before we introduce them, but... What I was also going to say is I just noticed we were doing the ep like watching the episode last night, watching the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, when we're recording this two nights ago, I know 15 years ago. Yeah. Katie murdered Mika. So we're right on the anniversary of Mika's death. Yeah. Oh, it was also my mother's birthday. Tomorrow is when they'll find his body. That's right. <laughs> so. Oh, shit. In that case, tomorrow's my mother's birthday. I should call her. <laughs> oh, my mom's was yesterday. So I like how our mom's birthdays are almost in unison. Oh, <laughs> but no, speaking of uh, more timely than ever, there's nobody 
better time than now to introduce our guest. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, will you please do the honors? Sure. Joining us from Southern Haunts and Oh, That's a Scary Movie, my BFF, Ashley McLaughlin. Hi. Yeah. My mom's birthday is on Wednesday. Oh, what? nice. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> We did it. Mom's we- birthdays. God, what a what is wait, hang on, Nathan, when's yours? Today. No, oh uh, my in God. May. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the cool moms were born in October. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Nathan. It was a natural four. It was the program, Deborah. <laughs> yeah, when is your mom's birthday, Nathan? It's in May, May 28th. Oh, she, she fucked it up. Literally on the other side of the calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well. Yeah, happy birthday to moms and grads and dads. <laughs> happy happy birthday to moms. Rest in peace, Oatmeal and Donald yeah. Pleasants. This one goes out to all the moms. Oh, guys, paranormal activity. All right, raise of hands. Who saw this in theaters? Can you see us? My, my head is raised. Audio <laughs> podcast, Dustin. Oh, sorry, Audio my head podcast. is raised. Mine is not. I didn't see this until like three or four years after it came oh, out. Oh, so not, not even worth it at that point. My hands up. Okay. All right. <laughs> Two hands up. Nathan's is, is a little limp and then Ashley's is fully down. <laughs> uh, no, I watched it with friends uh, later on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on this because we saw this in theaters and I did not notice this on the, the rental that, or the stream that I watched last night. Mm-hmm. Did they not have like, I guess because I don't have a great sound system, didn't they not like telegraph every time something was about to happen with like this incredibly low rumble from like the, from, like, the subwoofer? Because I didn't hear it on this one. Man, I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. My I, So I watched this with subtitles and it was saying like low hum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I didn't hear shit. Same. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember hearing it the first time I saw it, so I don't know what what's up with that. So we just have shitty sound systems is what yeah. I'm... <laughs> or the sound mix on the rental version is bad. I don't know. Like, it was very weird. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, I remember seeing this in theaters and, me, and every time something was about to happen, like the door slamming or something like that, they mm-hmm. would do that. And I was like, oh, you're just literally telegraphing me. There's a jump scare coming. Yeah, it's supposed to be, I think, the ghost like fucking with the equipment. But yeah, it definitely does spoil the surprise. Yes. Or builds the tension. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, the, the first time I saw this, it was like the I didn't see it in the theater, but it might have still been like the worst time to watch it because Wait, I. Wait, hang on, is this another depressing Nathan story? No, oh. no, just that I watched it and it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, and so I immediately watched the second one. Oh, uh, and that didn't help. It didn't make me feel better. <laughs> like, man, that was terrifying. Better watch more of it. Like, fuck. <laughs> Let's re up. Yeah, you know, <laughs> submersion therapy or whatever. Victory lap, baby! I guess that's a question, too. What's everyone's favorite? Because for me, two, because two is just so fucking funny. What's fun? <laughs> what, wait, so I don't remember two very well. How, why is it funny? Two is the sister. Was two the one with the panning camera? That's three. That's three. Yay. I think they do it in two as well. Do they? Okay, three has the bit with the oscillating fan. Is two the one where all everything falls out of the kitchen cabinet? Yes. Is that two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the maid is just like, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Two is funny because it's like a regular paranormal activity movie. And then at the end, Katie shows up. Right. And steals a baby. <laughs> and yeah. And like, fuck shit up. Yes. But when she kills the dad, it is the funniest shit ever because yes. he's sitting on the couch watching a, like a football game. She comes up behind him, snaps his neck. That's right. He leaps off the couch. That's right. <laughs> yes. I was having a blast in the theater. What's the one that takes place in the 80s? That That's one's three. my favorite. Three's, three's my favorite, too. That one's pretty good. Three seems to be everyone's favorite. Three is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a great one. I think three is maybe like a genuinely good movie, but two is just so fucking funny to me. I forgot about two. <laughs> three is so good because it focuses on two children, and we all know kids are creepy as fuck. That's mm-hmm. true. That's valid. Yeah. But there's no kid death in that one, Mally. So you don't, you know, how do you feel about that? Not on screen. <laughs> no. It's not. A, it's not a perfect movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I I mean, seeing this in the theaters opening night was pretty fun because the audience was really into it. Sure. Wait, damn, opening night? I saw it opening night, yeah. Wow. Holy wow. shit. Yeah, I was, I would have been 16. I saw it like a week after it opened. Mm-mm, I, I went, well, these are like the, the few horror movies that are fun to see with a crowd yeah. because even people interrupting it makes it fun mm-hmm. because nothing is happening in this movie. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> Not a God damn thing. <laughs> no, I think I think what's happening in this movie is 
is a woman is beginning to realize her boyfriend has always sucked. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, that's what the movie's really about. Yeah, is yeah. how shitty Mika is as a human being. What a piece of shit Mika is. Dude, he yeah. straight up at one point says Dinny time. Yeah, I, have that <gasps> I wrote down. that down. <laughs> I lost my mind. I was like, what? What is happening? Well, and right off the bat, any musicians know that Mika fucking sucks because yeah. that guitar he's playing is an absolute piece of shit and a <laughs> goddamn abomination. I wrote that down too. It's a line six guitar. Yep. Get the fuck out. Yeah, line six should not be making guitars. Get the fuck out. Absolutely not. He says Denny time shortly before he zooms in on her feet and says the phrase sex type thing. Yes. Oh, gross. oh twice in this movie, at least, he refers to them having sex as extracurricular, extracurricular. activities. <laughs> Fucking barf. Yeah, that should have been the title. He's so creepy. I do not like him. Fucking barf. You know, I so wish I would have had time to pull this clip, Mally, but I, I mean, uh, Nathan, but I just wanted so badly just to hear, dump him, girl. Dump him, girl. <laughs> I hate that game. He sucks. He's a bad dude. His name is Mika. Yeah, it's Micah, right? It's, yeah. It should be Micah. It's spelled Micah. Yeah. It's spelled Micah, but... We shouldn't be too mean about his name because sure. I think that actually is the actor's name. No, it is. It's his real name, yeah. It is, but that's definitely Micah. That's definitely... <laughs> okay, well, that fucking sucks for him then. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, Yeah, no, I feel bad for him. I hate his character. Yeah, he's, he's the Lisa from the room of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so hysterical, Katie? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh... Wait, hang on. You keep you keep saying actor. Is this not a true story? Oh, that's very true. Oh, I forgot. Yes, this movie was produced with the uh, with the help of the families and the San Diego Police mm -hmm. Department. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one hundred percent true. G guys, did also did anyone get this? But I I noticed this on the rewatch. There's a lot of fade to blacks and fade up from blacks. Mm -hmm. This just made me think I was watching Jackass like the whole fucking time because this is exactly how Jackass episodes are ending. I'm Toby the demon, and you're watching Jackass. <laughs> at the end mika gets thrown into the camera and it just cuts to the yeah. <laughs> oh that'd be fucking great nathan you're giving me an idea here because whoever's holding the camera is usually mika yeah. and he's off screen this would be not a terrible idea to like when katie's on screen put tommy with zoe from the room clips on the other side <laughs> and then when mika's on camera put lisa because yeah. i think you could make this work she's screaming like mika get down here and he's like in a few minutes bitch yeah, like, <laughs> that's the worst exactly. person exactly he's the worst <laughs> i'm glad we're all on the fuck mika train He's the worst. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm all aboard. Load up. Which, let's be <laughs> honest. Nathan, were you a little nervous DC was going to side with him? I actually... <laughs> Guys, Mika's just misunderstood. Listen. D Dustin? <laughs> I actually was. I'm not even kidding. You know, I heard you cited with the boyfriend from Midsummer, so like that <laughs> no, you, went no, through no. my head too. <laughs> so you're hearing, you're hearing Mally tell you that I did. <laughs> That's not quite how it went down. That is... Ex it is on record. No, that, those records exist. What are you talking about? They're, it's there. Yeah. You can go back and listen to you it. You cited with the boyfriend. <laughs> And you sided with the rapist in Hard Candy, so. Ooh. No, no he I did didn't. Not. Oh, Thank you, dear Nathan. Lord. Thank you. Oh, gosh. oh, my God. Yikes. He super did <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm going to have to scrub this entire podcast when it's over. All 100 plus episodes. <laughs> also, speaking of which, this is episode 123, guys. So here we go. Let's talk about paranormal activity. All right. <laughs> Do we have to? Yeah, we got it. We got to. Literally, I mean, we can literally talk about anything else. Schedule says so. Yeah, it's written in stone. You know how ah. we learned a couple episodes ago. Once it's written on the podcast, it cannot be undone. That's right. I mean, if y'all want to talk about paranormal activity, that's fine. I'm going to talk about, I don't know, a different movie. Okay. Yeah, you can talk about three and we'll talk about one. How about that? Sure. <laughs> oh, no, I was, I'm going to talk about like fucking Con Air or something. <laughs> the best movie. Uh, Ashley would talk to you about Con Air for a while. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk about Con Air. Should we call the mulligan and just say we're talking about Con Air instead? The best movie. <laughs> okay, great. All Right, DC, Nathan, y'all talk about Paramal Activity. Ashley, we're going to talk about Con Air. That sounds great. Oh, that's a Con Air movie. <laughs> <laughs> so the year is 2007. And I guess whatever your Con Air came out, mm -hmm. 96, 5? <laughs> sure. 7, 97, 97. The year of our Lord. The director is Oren Pele. And who directed Con Air? I can't remember. I don't know. Give me a second. Uh, was it Jerry Bruckheimer? No. That sounds That sounds like it would be right. He produced. He produced. He produced. Con Air. Mm. Simon West. Okay. Oh, uh, my boy, Simon West. <laughs> director of Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Oof. That's my boy right there. And The Expendables 2. What a body of work. And the director of the Never Gonna Give You Up music video by Rick Astley. <laughs> yep. Incredible. That's a career I aspire to. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. 
The movie stars Katie Featherston, Nicolas, Nicolas Cage, Cage, Ving Rames, <laughs> Mika Sloat, Cole Meany, da- Danny Trejo, John Cusack, Mark Fredericks, <laughs> S- Steve Buscemi, Dave Chappelle. Ni- let's be real. Nicolas Cage should have played Dr. Fredericks, oh, especially man. when he comes in for his like, I can't fucking be here scene. <laughs> like, I can't fucking breathe in here. <laughs> I'm taking off the chin. It kills. <laughs> you got you got too many fucking ghosts in here. <laughs> I don't even want to be around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the movie had a budget of only fifteen thousand uh-huh. dollars and managed to gross a hundred and ninety-three million dollars worldwide. God bless them mm-hmm. and like essentially built Blumhouse. Oh, mm-hmm. for sure. To the point where, like, like I think we talked about this in an earlier episode this season. Where, um, oh no, it was me and Ashley talking about Creep. Jason Blum said, like, we get. He gets sent one found footage film a week. I bet. I believe it. Like people are just like, we like, look, they're cheap. They're easy to. He's like, they're cheap to produce. They're hard to make well. <laughs> yeah, they're they're hard to market too. Like, sure, for sure. Well, all right. What are the good found footage movies? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna throw Cloverfield out there. Cloverfield, yes. Blair Witch. I'm not a huge fan of Blair Witch, to be perfectly honest. I, I I don't think it's a good movie. I just think it's like it's a good experiment that works. Oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better than this movie does. The Taking of Deborah Logan. De- yeah, Deborah Logan rules. Yeah, that's a great one. I didn't like it. Both Creep movies are good. Creep yeah. for sure. Creep one and two were good. Yes, it's definitely less than ten. No, sure. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, it's very easy for them to go wrong for sure. Do you call, do you, do you consider bad trip? To be a, a well, it's not found footage, but I guess it's partially. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, there's a movie. There's one called Home Movie that stars Adrian Pasdar, and it's like a bad seed type story where mm. his kids are turning into serial killers. Mm. That's I thought was really good. Oh, Safe Haven from VHS Two. Oh yeah, I mean VHS. Yeah. Yeah. VHS Two is a in general is great. Uh, supposedly well, the new one is great as well. The 1994 or whatever. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. So not so not a lot of good found footage movies is what we're establishing it's hard though it's like it's it's easy to fall into the same traps yeah 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 i i I wanted to mention this too is that this is the second most profitable film ever made based on return on investment i believe it blair witch cost twenty two thousand dollars so a little bit more than this uh, movie but also managed to gross 240 million dollars oh wow and then the problem is that this movie spent a lot of money reshooting the ending. Yeah. Right? Yep. Like shooting a couple of endings that didn't end up getting made. A couple. We'll talk about that. Such a beef with the person responsible for the changing of this movie's ending. But we'll talk about that when we get there. I was trying to figure out who that was. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you. Cool. I know who it is. Even I know who it is. And I don't even like this movie, Nathan. <laughs> is it? Is it a Weinstein? No. no, but it's an incredibly influential filmmaker. <laughs> Not someone you would expect to have influence yeah, exactly. on this movie. <laughs> exactly. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay yeah we'll talk about it when we get there um mel brooks it's like lebron james owning what is he own friday, friday the 13th, 13th right <laughs> yeah lebron james god damn it and the movie currently sits at i cannot believe this i'm gonna say these numbers uh it currently sits at an 83 percent on rotten tomatoes what I believe it. Yeah. I love this movie. I can't. I can't. <laughs> well, I can't believe it on this rewatch. Wait, this is at an 83 and Con Air only has 56? Get the fuck out. Now that's a fucking shame. <laughs> yes. That is a shame. But I enjoy this movie a lot. Yeah. 75 audience score, though. 75 <laughs> audience score. I think I I think I think like 83% of this movie. Same. <laughs> Maybe. I would agree with that. <laughs> I think you flip those numbers around and that's about what I like. I, but 38%. I, I, I think this is a group <laughs> watch movie. And when you watch it alone, it is a slog i will say when i watched this the first time i was totally into it watching it this time i found myself so annoyed by the character of mika that it like really hampered my enjoyment of the film Mm -hmm. because i think katie's great like genuinely i think that actress is great i think her story is interesting and then she just kind of every time she starts to get into a a really interesting beat it's immediately upended by this other character telling her let's not explore that right now because i'm a fucking asshole (laughs) well here's the thing i think both of these characters really sell that they're not in a movie and that they are just a couple yes Mm -hmm. i agree like i will say that oh yeah both of the performances are good yeah yes the character of mika 
just put that shit right in the trash. I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't fucking do but it. But like, I didn't notice it the first time I watched it. Like, me too. Me neither. Back yeah. in 2000, whatever, when I first watched it. I don't know if maybe because I was like in my early 20s and I didn't realize he, how big of a douche he was yet. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't realize what toxic <laughs> masculinity looks right. like. <laughs> well, 2006 was a different time. That's true. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. He, he's like an anti-gaslighter. Like he, he's gaslighting her that nothing's wrong. Right. Like, he's <laughs> just gross. Yeah. he's just awful there's so many times though where like he will tell her uh you can't get a demonologist in here because he doesn't know anything look i read this D D source book so i know what's going on <laughs> yeah right. well he's also like you can't get a demonologist but i can get a ouija board <laughs> yeah what an asshole what or he's like think about my feelings you brought this into my house yes he says this is my house he didn't buy a ouija board he borrowed it he borrowed, borrowed it, it. Yeah. he <laughs> borrowed it which is such a which is such an abuser like yes. argument to make i just wanted to punch him in the face but, but her reaction is fantastic being like oh fuck you you knew exactly what i was talking about yeah let's get, i'm getting the fuck out of this house like i was like oh good and she said I don't give a fuck where you got it. Throw it in the trash. Yeah, yeah that's not an argument a nice guy would make. Right, Nathan? No, <laughs> no. Uh, speaking on behalf of all nice guys who love <laughs> extracurricular activity. Um, no, no, he's he's so he sucks. He says at one point, this is my house. You're my girlfriend. I'm going right. to take care. Of, like, I'm going to handle this. It's like, ugh. well, he is the day trader. He's a day trader, yeah. <laughs> which hang on. Which, okay, so he's a day trader. She's a student. Mm -hmm. Um, How the fuck? That house is nice yeah, in LA. How they afford <laughs> San Diego. How? Yeah. And that car she rolls up in. Right. It's a four bedroom house. This is like those fucking real estate reality shows where like, oh, she's an art student and he makes candles out of almonds. Their budget is $17 million. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he right. makes yes. Out of yes. No, he's right. Cause I also I looked up CoinNet to see what it was because I thought, is this like an early crypto adopter? But no, yeah. this is well before crypto. It's really just day trading. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen the website. It looks like it hasn't been updated since 2007. I was wondering about that because like it, it reminded me of the girlfriend in Birdemic who wears a t-shirt that just says like believepeace.com mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something like that. No, I know I I thought like halfway through this movie, I was like, look. Mika, you're a piece of shit. Katie, you're being haunted by a ghost. You guys could, you guys should just literally just separate, just break up because this is not going to go well. Oh God, I wanted them to break up. My theory is she's only staying with him until she's done with school. No, nah. once she's done, once she graduates, she's out of there. Nice. So she's she's literally <laughs> just she's shacking up so she can she can have a place to live and just. Uh, she I doesn't want to stay on campus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, hey, if you can get it, <laughs> your head cannon makes this movie a little better. Yeah. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, we're already <laughs> discussing way too much of the movie. And yeah. the, the listeners may not be aware of this movie, which I find hard to believe. But sure. let's take a trip back about f almost 15 years ago now. That's wild. To the trailer for Paranormal Activity. And this is not the trailer of like, let's watch the audience watching the movie. Oh, like, I hate those. Yeah. God. Yeah, they're the worst. The night vision trailers. <laughs> Have you all seen, did I send you that clip of like people reacting to Goldeneye when it came out? And like the last person in the clip is, uh, is Idris, Idris Elba. Elba. Yes. 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 Yeah, and he's, he's just like, he's really fit. Yeah. Um, he delivers the lines well. He's all right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> made me really happy. Yeah, he's planting, he's planting the, the flag early. Yeah, it's the only <laughs> acceptable version of those trailers mm -hmm. all right here we go trailer time trailer time high def camera on my i'm fucking key. bored already yeah oh yeah oh yeah she makes a lot of like arts and crafts like beaded necklaces and stuff yeah she has so many hobbies she knits too but again their budget for a home is 17 million dollars <laughs> right she's she's helping make rent by making those little necklaces yeah she she has an etsy store <laughs> yeah keeps them in baby powder <laughs> Also, I found myself just staring at the the burn-in time code of like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I was like, this is so much more interesting. I'm, I keep going. Looks like something big. It is weird that the bite's a different color in the trailer. Yep. The cut on her leg was gray as well. Yep. I love this part. I can't believe they sold a movie based on just this. I love it. It's so good though. Normal activity. Wow, what a short trailer too. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spoiler. Oh wow. Another trailer that shows the ending of the movie. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I guess that's what you do when you're not confident. <laughs> the only movie that got away with that was The Dark Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a nothing shot. The shot of him on the bat pod. Yeah. Yep. It's a nothing shot. That's why it doesn't give anything away. It's true. I think Quarantine may be the worst example of it, though. Yeah. Oh, God. It's the worst. Yeah. Well, before we uh, actually get into the movie itself, I got to make a, a, a complaint right here and now. Okay. Because again, I watched this movie on Stars. Stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their platform is the fucking worst because. Worse than HBO Max? Oh, yeah. Wow. Because they throw a bug on every few minutes. It fades up and it just says Stars to remind you you're watching it on fucking Stars. Like it's <laughs> basic cable. Like yeah. I'm watching a movie. I paid. I wonder if that's because you had the trial and not the subscription. I bet you don't no, no, get a I've watermark if you have on... a subscription. No, I have the subscription and it's on there. Yes. That's bullshit. That's crazy. <laughs> That's such bullshit. That's like Hulu charging you and then still putting ads in. It's yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> That's wild. I don't know. My first note here is Micah sure loves using Zoom, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the thing. The first, like, Mika, sorry. Yeah, Mika. The first 15 minutes of this movie is him just sound checking. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it's like our recordings. <laughs> and, and, yeah, exactly. And then the, the audio sounds like shit. He's like... Oh, I can. Hear, this sounds great. I'm like, mm, I don't know. He may want to do a mix pass on that. <laughs> he might want to make sure his microphone isn't backwards. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Which we've had. Like, that's that would help. I love. I, I actually love the little "I am whispering" bit. I think mm -hmm. that's very endearing. That was fun. I love that she is like, "How much does the camera cost?" Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hated. I wrote that. I wrote that down. Half of what I made today is his answer. Yes. And it's just Ugh. he's so gross. Just put. Just say a number, dipshit. Just say <laughs> right. Four Four hundred dollars or whatever. Half of what I made today. Yeah. Get out of here, dickwad. Ashley, Sorry. if you thought if you thought you were being haunted, and your husband said it's probably just one of those neighborhood kids who are obsessed with you, that wouldn't calm you down, would it? Yeah. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Especially when she's like, unless they were haunting me when I since I was eight. Right. right. No, I would not have tolerated Mika's bullshit for very long. No, <laughs> not. A, I would not listen to a guy who has that many hungry man dinners in the fridge. Uh, Did you see that shit? Yeah. That. And who wears the coin net shirt like four days in a row? Right. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Let's see the contents of your fridge, Nathan. All right, fine. <laughs> what is the new segment? What's in the fridge? What's in <laughs> you know, fridge? Uh, call back to our Cherry Moon episode. Prince actually did that. There was a there was this uh, this publication that was looking for people to tell them what's in his fridge, and he so he was like, well, his representation was like, you can't take pictures of Prince's fridge. We can draw it for you, and what? you can tell you what's in it. And so he did. What the fuck? It turns out dude <laughs> had dude it. had <laughs> dude had Can I guess? Yeah. Uh he had red onions. No. Nope. He had purple grapes. He just everything was purple in him. He had and one condom. He had one condom. <laughs> Every flavor of pizza roll. <laughs> it actually one pizza pizza roll flavored condom. Um <laughs> he had uh one drawer that was all dunkaroos. I believe that. <laughs> And that is fucking awesome. That's I want that amazing. in my house. <laughs> I want that in my house. God damn it. I have... I didn't know it was possible me, for me to respect Prince more. <laughs> Dude, Dunkaroos are the shit, and they disappeared for so long, and it was upsetting. I want to be famous just so I can have that. Yeah. Just a, a drawer full drawer? of Dunkaroos. Yes. A DD? This is my dunk drawer. <laughs> my drawer <of> dunks. <laughs> and this was, by the way, this was while Dunkaroos were out of, like, they weren't being made anymore. So somehow he had someone get them for him in, like, uh, massive quantities. Oh, my God. What a, what a. What a prince. What a prince. <laughs> what, a prince. <laughs> what, a, what a scam. What a scampy prince. Uh, all right, so Mika's got this camera. Yeah. And I, I, dude, Katie is such a good girlfriend to him. This dude fucking... Mm -hmm. I, I know we keep harping on it. This dude fucking sucks. He sucks. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, too, is, is like... He says when he's like, he's got the knife and he's like chopping onions or whatever. And he's like, once we know what's going on, we can act appropriately. I'm like, act appropriately? What are you going to do? It's a fucking ghost. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I'm going to stab it. <laughs> yeah. He does like a knife, uh, like a, a, like a throat slit motion with the knife. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> all right, dude. Oh, that's, that's him all throughout this movie too. It's him looking behind doors and opening curtains. I'm like, dude. It's a ghost. It's yeah. a demon. Like you can't. Right. What are You're you not gonna for? see it. Mm -hmm. There's a bit in the movie. It's towards the end, but when he, well, at one point he quotes Monty Python at the ghost. Yep. And then at another time he says, he goes, "I've fucking had it with this shit." I know. Gosh, I know. Like this is like, the season of people just fucking having it. It's so yeah, just like Steve Jobs and processor. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. No, it was it was ridiculous. Like he. 
He's like, what is he going to do? He's going to big dog a ghost? <laughs> well, he doesn't do anything. Once he, he once he has tons of evidence, he's like, I don't know. I guess I'm getting the Ouija board. Yeah. <laughs> what it's are you insane. doing? And here's the thing, too. Is I kept trying to nail down who Mika looked like because he has a very like like a face that like I, I recognize this guy from somewhere. He looks like Rod from uh from Birdemic. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, but I, I was actually doing, I was watching this with Priscilla and she she nailed it. He kind of looks like Nev from Catfish. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. But like, not as cool. <laughs> hey, there's a found footage movie that's not terrible. There you yeah, go. that one is really good. Yeah. 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 I had it spoiled for me, but I, I still enjoyed it. it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We find out Mika's in defeat, which is really cool. Loves him. <laughs> he loves such them. a cool guy. <laughs> he would be. He tries to trick her into making a sex tape twice. Yeah, well, actually more than twice. It's it's a lot. More like multiple times throughout the movie. He tries to film her peeing yeah. in the bathroom. He oh. <laughs> he's got real Tarantino energy, and I oh, don't like absolutely. it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I don't like it. Well, here, okay. Here's what I don't like too. Um, and I want to get you guys this feedback on this because it, it always bothers me sure. oh this isn't gonna be good <laughs> they sleep under one sheet okay thank I saw, you I thought the same thing fucking <laughs> psychopath all right glad we're all the same page they, I, I wrote down all caps they moved the duvet before they go to sleep yes they're fucking weirdos let's talk about their fuck okay they sleep under a sheet, a sheet. One sheet. psychopaths <laughs> They have a desk in their bedroom, <laughs> no chair. Yeah. 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 Mally has a lot of thoughts on the decor. Oh, the decor is awful. They sleep with the door open. Everything's brown. Hang on. They In the living room, they got a black leather couch, a zebra print pillow, yep. and a leopard print rug. Yep. <laughs> Bitch, pick a pattern. It's so 2006, though. Dude. It is so, that house and everything about it is so 2006. Yes. So many fake plants. <laughs> so many fake plants. The color of their bedroom walls made me want to puke it was like baby doo-doo green like i don't oh, know how God. to describe it it was fucking gross it was like if the color taupe got sick <laughs> yes there you go that's a good that's a good explanation do you guys remember those like decorative jars of like peppers that everyone had in their kitchen oh, yes. yeah. that's what this house reminds me of mm -hmm. like i just expected to see this house is just one big pepper jar <laughs> <laughs> they're also absolute psychos because they sleep with the door open yeah I, I, I couldn't get over it yeah i don't know what he was hoping to catch on camera because he's like we keep hearing it in the hallway what, but wouldn't I... it be funny if there was just like a little ghost like tiptoeing across <laughs> the door <laughs> oh the little giggles <laughs> Yeah, actually, speaking of which, we got to point it out. The demon of this movie is definitely the scam. Oh, oh absolutely. Yes. Like, it's not even up for debate. 100%. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. Yes. Ghost scam. Yeah. yeah. Massive scamp energy. Yeah, they, they move the duvet before they go to sleep. They sleep with the door open, which, like, does not happen in my household. I'm nope. sorry. Mm -hmm. No. Do you nope. notice there was a censored, like, for dummies book in the kitchen? What could they have been trying to learn? <laughs> mm, I did not notice that. Oh, speaking of decor, in his, his, his office is in, like, in the kitchen. Yeah. Is that a TV that's behind his monitors, or is it just a black part of the wall? Oh. Because it looked like a giant TV behind his computer monitors. I missed I that. Know. I don't fucking know. It, I couldn't, because it's it doesn't fit in with the rest of the house. Yeah. So that's why I was like, is this a giant TV he's got? I will say I wasn't super impressed with the first night of haunting, because it's thumping on stairs and then keys dropping. And guys, that's just living with cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's, that's what that's like. Which, hang on, I gotta say, she flips the fuck out about the keys being on the floor it's like bitch i found my keys in the fridge the other day <laughs> calm down that's a you problem though like what, <laughs> wouldn't it wouldn't it be great though if the whole like the reveal of this movie was it was just a cat Aww. it was just a stray cat in the house just causing mischief i would love this fucking movie paranormal, paranormal activity no, captivity, <laughs> yes captivity. paranormal captivity honestly though cats are right up there with kids to me like <laughs> no nah, fuck that put it in the microwave <laughs> no don't you dare don't you dare <laughs> Put it in the microwave. Good lord. It's not a gremlin. <laughs> Don't feed it after oh, midnight. A gremlin would be good too if he would just tiptoe across the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to imply this was a secret leprechaun movie? Um, that would have been great. I'm fucking here for it. Guys, did I tell you I got carded buying the leprechaun series on Blu ray recently? <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of my lowest points as a film fan. <laughs> Huh? I bought I bought the Leprechaun Blu-ray set at Walmart because it was marked down to nine ninety nine. Oh, you got ripped off. That yeah, much? for real. <laughs> yeah, too <laughs> much. Too much. 
Yeah, I was surprised when I opened it up and there was more than one disc. <laughs> uh, you have to flip all of them over. The uh, <laughs> No, I I couldn't. I, I got carded buying Leprechaun and I wanted to die. <laughs> what? Did, huh? You can get carded for buying already movies. Sure. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Nathan? Yeah, movie? I know. I, that's that's why he's saying it's crazy. <laughs> Motherfucker looks like he's 43. Yeah. <laughs> I've, lived a hard, I've had a hard life. A good 43. A good 43. A good 43. <laughs> Three. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. I look like I. We. You can say it. I look like Red and Mandy. It's fine. Well, <laughs> forty three is the new twenty seven. Nathan, don't worry about it. Twenty seven. <laughs> Am I gonna die? <laughs> I. Here's the thing, too. I. I. I thought this would have been so great. The way camera, uh, Mika's camera, like his his skill as a camera op. I was mm -hmm. like, would have been great if at one point he would have just turned the camera around and said, "You see, this is how crazy Batman's made God." <laughs> <laughs> You'll never find all the bombs in time, Katie. <laughs> I would have. This would have been a ten out of ten movie for me. Fuck. Hey, actually, you know what? The Dark Knight, best found footage movie. There you go. Good, yeah, shot by Heath Ledger. <laughs> yeah, directed by Heath Ledger. Yeah. Then we get the big day. It's the day of the psychic. Mm -hmm. The best day. The best day. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's always a good day when the psychic comes by. Yeah. Yeah. This is who I think Nick Cage should play sure. if he was in this movie. Sure. 100%. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. If anything, Nick Cage is, if anything, Nick Cage is playing Kate. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, this dude's good, yeah. but there's just nothing to it. And Mika, the whole time, is just nagging this dude. And yeah. like, even Katie's like, dude, for real? Mm -hmm. Like, he's being such a dick, making fun of his abilities. Like, and, and you can tell what kind of a boyfriend Mika is when he says, we're engaged to be engaged. I yep. wrote that down. Like, that is, oh, poor Katie. Yeah. Good Lord. What a gross out. How much did you think they, they probably had to pay this dude at least, what, like 200 bucks to come out there? And, and Mika's just wasting his fucking time. And also, when they go into the bedroom and he says, this is where most of the activity takes place. I'm like, come on, dude. You suck. <laughs> you awful. You suck. And I love that she's like subtly pushing back against Mika the whole time. Like, yeah. She's like, uh, no, I can tell the difference between you saying my name and a fucking demon. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's just really interesting things she does where she's talking about the fire at her house as a kid. And mm -hmm. she says, no one was hurt. Thank God. Thank goodness. Like mm -hmm. she corrects herself. I thought that was like a really neat little touch. Oh, Katie's got a lot of the good little moments like that too. Mm -hmm. Like she's even trying to like, I don't know, convince the the psychic that she's not crazy because yeah. she's like, I don't want to say that that's because of the demons that the house burned down, but you know. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Like she's having to justify herself because she's like, look, Mika's not going to give me any help here. So yeah. I got to convince this dude. I think she's really good in this. Yeah. And I wish she was in, you know, significantly more movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the thing about this is when you try to pass this off as like, this is real. Right. And we use their real names and everything. It's like, yeah, it, it kind of pigeonholes you. Yeah. She was on an episode of, I think, Law & Order SVU that I saw. And the whole time I was like, you're Katie. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Paranormal activity. You know, it's like you can't get past that. Yeah. I, I think she's also in Pretty Little Liars, if I'm not mistaken. She's got Big a, Little Lies. Big oh, Little right. One yeah, of those yeah, lie yeah, shows. One of those <laughs> shows full of fucking liars. <laughs> those, those are two very different shows. Oh, also, I had a a revelation watching this movie too guys I, I don't think katie's being stalked by a demon mm -hmm. because the way she wakes up from that nightmare i'm pretty sure she just has sleep apnea mm. because that's how i used to wake up when i had it. oh <laughs> y'all just... i i wake up my girlfriend at least once a month having a nightmare yeah and i don't know why because i didn't used to do this and i think maybe it's just my anxiety <laughs> progressively getting worse mm -hmm. oh. but like i will try to like call out in my sleep and i will wake us both up going nah! like like just <laughs> moaning like she's like the first time it happened i thought she was she was gonna jump out of her skin <laughs> i mean i when i had sleep apnea that's literally how i would wake up it's just sitting up going <gasps> <laughs> shit that sucks it, it would scare the absolute just shit out of herself <laughs> Yeah, so I, I think that she just she may just have like a deviated septum she needs to get fixed because that's that fixed mine so. yeah <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, Mika, god damn it, this dude, he he tells her that she's too cute to be talking uh, at one point. Holy shit, I know. I know. I can't. He makes a joke about her mom, which is actually a plot hole if you watch the later movies. Yeah, yep. it is. A pretty big one. <laughs> oh, and we're still doing mother-in-law jokes in 2007. Yeah. Holy shit. I also <laughs> I love that when he, when he mentions the Ouija board for the first time, the psychic is like, 
fuck that. Like, you're an idiot. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah, I love that the psychic is not taking any of Mika's shit. He's not like, I all. hope you take this seriously yeah. for her sake. Yeah. He, he, well, here's the thing about Ouija boards. Like, I'm not, a, I don't really believe in ghosts or demons or anything like that. But the thing about the Ouija board, that's like, why they're going to fucking get you. <laughs> I don't know what to say, bro. <laughs> if they do, that's fine. I'll come at me. It's your boy. <laughs> the Ouija board thing always just makes me laugh because I'm like, you know, underneath it, it just has a big Hasbro stamp on the bottom, right? right? right. Like, I wish, I mean, even that movie Ouija, which isn't half bad, I wish somebody would have addressed that. Just like, guys, fucking Milton Bradley makes these. I don't think we're, I think we're going to be fine. You know what's wild? I think the Ouija, was it the sequel? I feel like the sequel was actually really good. I There's the one sequel. of those, like, one of those movies where, like, the first one is, like, whatever, and the sequel's actually really good. I, I think th- you're talking about the Paranormal Activity franchise, Nathan. <laughs> well, that too. I also feel that way about Annabelle. I think the sequels are better than the first one. I actually do agree with that. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen any of them. But no, I think Mike Flanagan directed the first Ouija, and it was right. um, the girl who plays Neb- Nebula yeah. in Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't remember her name. Uh, Karen, Karen Gillan. Gillan. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's yeah. a, I remember, and the fact that it's produced by like wwf or whatever <laughs> it's fucking crazy Wait, excuse me <laughs> yeah wow oh dude the wwf like they produced a, a couple horror movies yeah and they wrestled with some demons didn't they also make that um that movie with like uh stone cold steve austin on a on an island with a bunch of people mm. i can't remember what it was called oh sure the uh the condemned i think that's that sounds right stone cold getaway <laughs> stone, stone cold's hawaiian vacation that's good that's good. Micah calls the psychic a fruit. Yeah, yeah he does. It, 2006 was a different time. It sure yeah. is a different time. I mean, we're lucky he didn't, we, he didn't drop an F-bomb there, honestly. Uh, right, no kidding. Not like not like our most recent movie or one of our most recent movies. Nope. No, I, I just, I, I, I want to have something positive to say about Mika, but I can't. No. Like he's, as as I, Mally pointed out, he's got shit-tasting guitars. <laughs> he's got shit-tasting decor. It's a fucking line six. I know. The best thing he does is rescue you a spider instead of killing it yeah. and even then i would i would have killed the spider i don't yeah. care oh i'm gonna save the spider no dog. that's my homie it's the, it's the new save the cat save the spider yeah this guy's <laughs> alarm goes off at 6 14 what kind of psychopath right? sets an alarm at 6 14 i know God. i know well they go to bed at like 1 a.m every night every he's like night. i gotta get up at six yeah and i'm like what <laughs> yeah it's 12 45 and she's like what time do you have to get up so you're not familiar with my sleeping schedule i see no. right <laughs> sorry and like mika has he like buys this little source book says not to call the demonologist he reiterates the demon stuff which shows that he wasn't listening when the psychic explained it all to them yep also everyone keeps saying that like oh leaving won't matter and i'm like i don't know try it yeah give it a shot Fuck it. why not i thought the same thing i was like just get out for a little bit see how it feels exactly and then when they do when they do decide to leave it takes him a day and a half to pack the car yeah. <laughs> right what are you doing yeah by that point she's already gone and i i never noticed this before and i noticed it this time but when you know he's like i, I got the car packed and she's in the bed and she's like i think it's better if we stay and he's like well, what the fuck and then he goes away she has a very devilish little grin on her and i'm like oh okay and she has she has two voices yeah, she mm-hmm. speaks with two voice. voices yeah mm-hmm. i didn't pick up on the smile before but that was good no me neither yeah. he starts he like cusses out or, like i know this whole episode is just gonna be fuck mika but yeah. like <laughs> yeah but that's most of the movie yeah. that is the movie it's it's like the next scene is him walking in and cussing at her during girl time. Like yeah. they're oh, making their little their little yeah. arts and crafts. I want to show you something. He's God. like, what? Fuck, babe. Come on. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, be sweet. Yeah. And it's like, no. Katie, fat lard. <laughs> like, Every time Katie. <laughs> Every time Katie's friend is there, he's he just ups the ante on being an ass. He, he should have been played by John Heater, <laughs> like doing his Napoleon Dynamite. God, gosh, Katie! <laughs> but her friend is over it too. Like everyone surrounding Katie is over Mika. Yes, like the psychic, the friend, everybody. Love mm-hmm. the friend. Yeah, Amber, she's awesome. Amber, <laughs> one of my favorite moments of the movie, and I kind of wish it was just a little bit longer. Is when could you mention he's eating like a hung, like a hungry man dinner? They're just sitting there eating dinner, right? Yeah. He's at the at the at the bar. He's just eating. She's like reading a book or something, and it's just there for about twenty seconds, and then there's just like a thump that scares them. Yeah. I'm like, I kind of wish this scene was just like two full minutes of them just eating in silence, <laughs> just eating. <laughs> I kind of want to just loop that part. I love that. Denny time. <laughs> this is the movie. Can that be one of the selects? Is just them eating for yeah. five minutes? <laughs> so you 
you wanted it to be like that scene in a ghost story where Rooney Mar just eats a pie for yes. seven minutes. <laughs> yes, right. And then it just pops up and it says directed by Orrin Palin. <laughs> Fuck. Now that's a good ghost movie. That is a good ghost movie. Yeah, he cusses at her. He's mean about girl time. He keeps big dogging the demon. Like, I don't know what you guys would do, but my first thing wouldn't be to say, you're fucking worthless to a demon. No. <laughs> you're fucking out. I'm fucking in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, you. Listen here, you invisible bitch. I'm about to fuck you up with some truth. <laughs> here's the thing though it's just like the keys yeah you could chalk that up to it was an accident i mean they're in california could have been like a mild earthquake or something like that yeah once you've got like the door slamming you've got the footprints in the powder sure it's like clearly some shit's going on and i could not believe like i was honestly very impressed that katie doesn't break down until like an hour into this movie like yeah. where she actually does cry in the bed like sob and yes. yeah mm -hmm. i'm just stuck on this whole theory that everything could be caused by a stray cat getting into the house sure. <laughs> right. just just fucking around in the attic sure. i can't get past that idea now a cat he put the the photo in the insulation in the attic a cat could do that <laughs> that's right yeah, uh, yeah it, it escaped from the fire don't i don't trust cats i'm sorry <laughs> i don't trust cats i gotta say you know this, this lasts 21 days how long would each of you like stay here oh i'm still well, living in the house yeah well yeah because like in this economy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Am I Katie or Mika? You're Katie in this situation. Oh, well, see, but Katie, Katie's been dealing with it since she's been eight years old. That's yeah. true. It's like a new thing for her. The only time that I slightly identified with Mika was when he was like, you couldn't have brought this up before we moved in together. That is <laughs> true. He still says it in the shittiest way possible, but I was like, yeah, Katie, come on. Yeah, like on the 10th date, that would have been some good information. <laughs> yeah, maybe like the 20th or 30th date, you could say something. <laughs> sure. Like before you move in together you might mention it yeah hey by the way there's a demon after me uh, yeah uh, t no big deal um, but, yeah, demon. just want to let you know <laughs> No, but to answer your question, Nathan, one part of me wants to say uh, I would have gotten the fuck out after the door slammed and you caught it on camera. I'm like, nope. Mm -hmm. But the realistic answer is probably like, dude, I can't. Where am I going to go? I can't afford to go get a hotel every night. Right. Like, That's true. <laughs> what am I going to do? I guess I have to stay here. Honestly, first thing I'm doing, I'm redecorating that fucking house. <laughs> right. I think, honestly, the demon was just upset about the clashing animal prints yeah the clashing interior design the color palette yeah there's just bad feng shui in there like yeah. stirring up the demon zebra or leopard you can't have both <laughs> here's 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 the way you get rid of this demon yeah. first of all close the door <laughs> that's why most of the shit happens right second of all just push when you go to bed at night push the bed in front of the door so they can't open it there you go and stop negging the demon yeah. right stop egging it on that's, that's a good point. that would help that would help one of the, <laughs> my favorite things about like the conjuring is that they do get out of the house yeah. like kyle chandler fucking broke and he's like let's go to a motel mm -hmm. i mean in insidious they're just like okay after the second time we see a ghost we're moving mm -hmm. like it's the best yeah well here's here's i mentioned this before but here's what my theory on why this movie doesn't work mm. i mean once you know that they're like it's just a few little bumps and scratches like the movie holds no weight like this movie works one time for me and then on the second time i'm like okay i know nothing's really gonna happen until the ending that's the problem with any movie that like operates really heavily on jump scares mm -hmm. like especially when like the character one of the two characters you're spending most of the movie with is so unlikable yep like the reason the conjuring works which is a very jump scare heavy movie is it's shot incredibly well and the characters are so compelling yeah right here it's literally just like oh well i know katie if you're watching it a second time you're like okay katie's not getting out of this mika still sucks and i'm gonna watch them kind of putter around for a little while yeah it does lose a lot of its bite on a second viewing i don't know i i sorry as the as the one person who like really loves this movie i think i don't i get yeah watching it for the first time is definitely the best obviously I agree. um but it's i don't know i kind of appreciate it for the fact that it is fun and it it's kind of the first movie that had me checking in every corner behind the action of what's going on to like see if i can see something creepy you know what i mean sure i think that's the the best thing about having the door open is i think it does make you like want to sit on guard to yeah. like, you don't really see anything though no but you're waiting for something or at yes. least the first viewing i think yeah that shot of the bedroom kind of trains you to be on edge every time you see it yeah. oh yeah oh no well, i guess i can say something positive about this movie is it's all these paranormal activity movies for the most part is there is something interesting and unique at work of where like 
you feel relief as an audience member as soon as it fades to black and it comes back and it's daytime. Right. You're like, oh, yeah. thank God. Yes. And you do start to get a sense of dread when it gets dark out. Like yeah. that is, it is, it does work in that aspect. I will say that. And the movie pulls it out from under you at the end yes. when it starts happening during the day. Exactly. Yeah. And that's one of the scariest things about three is that the ghost doesn't give a shit what time of day it is. Yes. Like he's like <laughs> hanging out and like, also, you know, the added fear factor of it being in like a nursery. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's like, yeah. Because kids are fucking creepy. They are. They're just inherently creepy. <laughs> they are. They really are. As a mom, that is that's very true. <laughs> oh, you're a mom. That's uh, I'm sorry. I yeah. am. I am. Uh, it's creepy. Yeah, my son will sprint into the room in pitch black and scare the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my kid. The like the scariest thing. I mean, I'm sure you've experienced is like waking up from a dead sleep and your kids just in your face, just yep. standing there. Yep. <laughs> yep. I used to pull that shit all the time. I will punch my fucking child i'm sorry oh, it, yeah you have to you have to train your body not to immediately react yeah and it drop is. Kick your kid. is there coming close no no i'm not training shit the kid's gonna have to fucking learn i remember one time like getting scared walking into the bedroom in the middle of the night and my dad going god damn it nathan <laughs> <laughs> oh he thought you were one of the zombies from dawn of the dead that's just right sprint, yeah oh yeah i was 15 years old <laughs> that's great <laughs> just standing there in my underwear over my parents six foot tall nathan <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you want you absolutely live in Florida. Holy shit, yes, sir. <laughs> Here's what you do, though. If you want to stop that with your kids ready, you just sleep with the door open, but you saran wrap the opening of the door. <laughs> so, so, Classic Home Alone trap. Well, as soon as they come spreading in, they get tangled up and you're like, okay, you're not you're not a ghost coming to kill me. All right. I am so doing that to my eight-year-old. Wait, so you, you saran wrap the door. Do you also, like, I don't know, put some, like, fucking spray oil right in front of that so they're sliding into <laughs> yes. it? Yes. No, you don't. Because I don't know. Do you guys remember that vibe that people do with that in the kitchen that kid break in the oven door. Oh, right. Yes. Well, you don't do it in front of the oven. You're doing it in front of saran wrap. It's fine. <laughs> no, you put little jacks all over the place. So basically, home alone your own child. Yes. 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 Got it. Get a BB gun. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Come here, you filthy animal. No, Ashley and I just recorded our uh, Nightmare on Elm Street episode, mm -hmm. and we were talking about how Nancy essentially home alones Freddy at the end of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's the one trap that was missing was like a saran wrap door <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go i can't i couldn't even see it bitch <laughs> <laughs> no i i don't know i just kept checking my watch during this whole movie just because like I, I know that nothing is going to happen to them really until the end and mm -hmm. i wish mika was a more likable character because then the movie could be about how do two different people with two different mindsets deal with the undeniable truth of yeah no that's a great that's a great concept it's just that he is full on the worst the whole time mm -hmm. well here's what it sh here's what it should be because she's been dealing with it since she was eight she should just be the whole time being like we need to take a stand against this thing i've been f dealing with this since i was eight years old i'm right. not fucking leaving <laughs> leo style i'm not fucking leaving <laughs> exactly and he should be like we gotta get out of here you don't i don't understand what you're talking about like that should be the dynamic right. and that should be what drives the movie but it's not it's them both being like yeah some crazy shit's happening anyway uh let's go to bed and him <laughs> refusing to deal with it exactly yeah. yeah and what's what's wild is so we get to night 13 with that insane shriek that is actually i think a really good like good sound mix like really scary oh, it's scary um and you know i i love you know as they're going through the home i was like you really do get to like know the the geography of this house like yes. it feels lived in and vulnerable well, except for those back couple rooms yes a little bit like i mean you see them a little bit but not really yeah it's odd that they have a little teddy bear room um, <laughs> they have two guest rooms yeah what the fuck <laughs> but it does hit that primal fear of having someone in your home mm -hmm. and then micah immediately starts Mika. 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 Fuck, i'm sorry I, nathan i will i will forgive the micah because that's how it's spelled continue <laughs> yeah, that's how i've got it in my notes i should have written it m e e k a h um yeah, yeah but he starts gaslighting her and he's like it wasn't even that loud yeah and he he's like he's filming it he's like this is golden shit yeah <laughs> which is so weird um i also did like um when he finds the other girl online with the terrible geo cities looking website oh my gosh oh, diane. Awful. Yeah, yes. diane. But the video actually did look pretty good and convincing like that it was filmed in the 60s yeah i did like that does diane ever come back in the franchise no, no that's a weird bit mm, huh. that would make sense to do i mean a period piece one of these would be cool we yeah. have like an old super 8 camera yeah it's just so strange that he like he does this whole thing where he's essentially like 
uh yeah this this lady went through the same thing you did and i'm like okay well we know at this point we buy into the fact that there's a ghost yeah right. yeah I'm, I'm in dude what's this whole like <laughs> side tangent that you're going on other than just to prove that exorcism is not a good idea yeah it's just so it's so strange he sucks he's yeah. the worst but he does use audacity which i did <laughs> notice so kudos for him on that oh so so confirmed he's a piece of shit he also he <laughs> buys a ouija board with like the most try hard design possible yeah. i love that she calls it out and she's like you got the best fucking ouija board you could find he borrowed it he, yes sorry <laughs> you're right yeah and who'd he borrow it from right that's never answered yeah his creepy ouija board friend yeah he has no friends in this movie movie i don't know if you guys noticed none of his friends come over you don't have a ouija board guy <laughs> yeah who's your ouija board guy i, I guess i should get a ouija dealer <laughs> oh carl <laughs> carl the ouija board guy but what does the demon put on it he the the implication is that it wrote diane maybe just to say like i'm not fucking around i'm like the thing that went after diane and that's how he googled diane yeah i i, I could imagine to me could be stupid enough just go it says diane and he just googles the word diane like, <laughs> yeah i can imagine Kate, <laughs> katie sit down the princess diana musical just came out on netflix yeah. what does it mean i was gonna say they watched diane the musical <laughs> there's 14 million results katie come on we'll find out come what's on. going on here it wrote scamp <laughs> i am a scamp it wrote i am i am a scamp lol <laughs> itchy tasty <laughs> she she makes him apologize to the camera and it reminded me of those like I cheated photo shoots yep. that you see oh, on like, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. And stuff. That teenage teenage girls make their boyfriends in high school do <laughs> yeah. like I cheated. Wait, that's a thing? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, it's a thing, my friend. Man, what the fuck is wrong with kids nowadays? It's ridiculous. Too much internet. That's a quote you can pull out of any generation. Right, so. right. <laughs> that's a good man. I'm getting fucking old. I'm so close to being that angry old guy, like sitting on fucking my porch yelling at kids to get off my property. You're you're Clint Eastwood and Grant arena you're you're getting there real close <laughs> i'm not racist but they need to say the fuck off my property <laughs> <laughs> i love that frederick's when he comes in the second time he's immediately like oh no no no, no. i'm getting the fuck out <laughs> oh no no thank you i can't be here i gotta get out of here yeah <laughs> i had forgotten about that scene so when ashley watched this earlier in the week she she like texted me like the the psychic is the funniest character in the movie oh because yeah of that reaction yeah <laughs> like, i love it so much he's like oh i can't be here i cannot be here yeah. i'm just now realizing i've been missing a golden opportunity this this demon should have been voiced by christian bell because <laughs> like when he when mika gets to the ouija board he could have just been like oh good for you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I did, golden opportunity. <laughs> he lays out the powder, and Katie's response is like, "I think we've established something is happening." Yes, right. No, Katie calls yes. him out for being a scamp. She calls the demon out for being a scamp. She's yes. like, yes. "He's only going to do it if he wants to." Yeah. yeah, and then he tells her to pop a pill. <gasps> yep. He says it a couple of times. He says, "Chill down, take a chill pill." But no, the demon, when he sees the powder on the floor, he's just like, fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. Yeah, he does. He takes two steps in and then he goes like, oh, you got me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he tiptoes right back. He does. He pulls the dandy from the shining. And he just goes, right. retraces his steps exactly to get back. <laughs> what would have been amazing is if this move, the the real ending of this movie had been Micah, Mika, fuck. Damn God. it, Nathan. <laughs> Mika goes up into the attic. Yeah, Mally's like, there's no truth to this art. <laughs> Mika goes up into the attic and then the insulation kills him <laughs> right just slowly but surely it just kills him. <laughs> the long game yeah yeah he gets also mika gets super boston when he's yelling at the demon every time like he's always just like come on out of here you idiot like, yeah i don't know there's something weird yeah, he's he's a weird guy he just starts yelling say hi to your mother for me <laughs> <laughs> there's one point when the door slams and he just goes oh it's scaring us and i was like yes motherfucker <laughs> Wait, that's the point <laughs> welcome to the movie mika oh i here's here's the thing too like i i'm I know I give this movie a pass because of its time, but I feel like we got to stop just using the word like like the idea of a demon as a catch all for horror movie villains. Like, right. sure. I think we should we can just call it and say Hereditary is the last movie allowed to do it. Like <laughs> Hereditary doing like ghostly shit like that because it's it's such an easy thing to be like, oh, it's a demon. But at least at least Hereditary was like, let's trace it back to this actual piece of mythology. Because yes. other movies are just like, I don't know, it's not a ghost of a man, so it must be a, a spooky boy. Exactly yeah i mean the exorcist and hereditary like that's the start and end okay 
okay we need to stop all right let's get rid of the word demon we're only using spooky boy from now on spooky boy. Yeah. good call nathan yeah spooky boy activity <laughs> i'm down for that that's a different movie guys why is micah's mika 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 thank you ashley i'm gonna put like a little ding every time <laughs> yeah let's get a counter in here <laughs> what was it you were gonna do during the resident evil episode where you kept saying the wrong title president evil was that what you were gonna do no it was i kept saying I, it was dawn of the dead the rebecca i kept saying jack weber instead of jake weber oh jake weber yeah 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 <laughs> why is mika's course of action when katie's in the trance holding the cross He's like, I'm going to take care of this right now. And he burns the cross? He burns the cross. Yeah, the cross is not what you burn, dipshit. Yeah, like, how does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and you can just see him, like, standing there, like, you, like, yeah, did it. He got, I, guys, I can explain it. He grew up in a racist town. <laughs> Jesus. Yikes. He thought burning crosses was what you were supposed to do. He's in a mayhem cover band. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hereditary, what if when he threw it in the fire? he immediately gets got ablaze like. <laughs> That'd be amazing that would have been great that would have saved katie a lot of work yeah, absolutely <laughs> All right, well, do we want to talk about anything else before we get towards the ending? No, my last note is Katie sits up like Michael Myers. Yeah. <laughs> gets, straight, gets that yeah. core workout going. She does. Do you think Do you think Katie could chug peanut butter? Mm. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. 100%. Well, what, ki what kind of peanut butter brand does she like? Okay, so, well, are we talking about Katie or Possessed Katie? Like, what, what is the demon Katie's like? a skippy natural gal. Okay. okay. And then when Possessed... Peter Pan? Mm. Man, maybe. Crunchy. Crunchy for sure. It's mm. definitely crunchy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Demon Katie is definitely crunchy. Yeah. She's a crunchy gal. Yeah, crunchy gal. <laughs> I don't like the phrase crunchy gal. <laughs> That doesn't sit right with me. Oh, like that's the worst activity. thing we've ever... Oh, God. <laughs> I dare you to Google that. Oh, no, thank you. Um, speaking, of, speaking of that, I don't know why this just made me think of this. Okay. I, I know you guys are going to think I'm fucking crazy, but sure. I remember in high school once, I was doing a, 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 a school project, and I was in the, the, uh, the, the school library. <laughs> this isn't going to end well. I had to pull brand names, like images of brand... And this was like when Google Images was like not great. It was still kind of new. Sure. I remember I had to get a picture of a bag of doritos for a project i was working on mm -hmm. like that was the image i needed yeah and i'm not kidding i googled the word doritos and one of the images <laughs> i don't i don't know if it's still there i'm gonna i doubt it oh no oh no but i'm gonna try it now oh god oh no oh well we can watch it yes i i don't i, I can't imagine it's still like this because this was like <laughs> over a decade ago but i'm so scared <laughs> i hope it's still there i hope it hasn't changed at all let me let me google and then i'll describe what it was just the word doritos yes. okay okay no so you just get pictures of bags <laughs> so what i got <laughs> was it was a picture of a woman oh no oh no oh no <laughs> eating a bag of doritos like a side by like a bef like a before and after <laughs> and before it was normal it was just her and in, in like some clothes just eating a bag of doritos and the after was this morbidly obese naked woman with Doritos dust all over her. And I'm like, how is this on Google Image? <laughs> on the front page of Google Image. On the, it was like the it was like the fourth result. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Nope. No, that's not it. <laughs> you keep scrolling down and I'm getting scared. Stop. I know. I'm terrified. Why is, why is Aaron Paul in here? <laughs> Aaron Paul loves Doritos. Bitch. Man, I could go for some Doritos right now. Wait. Uh, what is this pink bag? Terry. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> that. Sounds disgusting. I want some cheddar goblin flavored Doritos. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Shout out Claire Gourmet Makes. It's a great. great episode. Yeah. I guess this image isn't on here. Maybe I'm a dirty fucking liar. Maybe it doesn't exist. <laughs> Maybe you can you just find it for us and send it over. Please don't. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep looking. What if, what if I type Doritos? It's in SFW. What do you think? We can oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but I want to find out. <sighs> Ashley, turn your screen off. <laughs> Ashley, you fucking watch. <laughs> We're going to do a Clockwork Orange style here. We're all going to fuck. I was going to say, I've got the eye things on from Clockwork Orange. I can't look away. This is the modified Ludovico right here. We're doing the Doritos. The Doritovico treatment. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you think? What, what do we it's do? gonna be Dorito dust on a dick. You think so? Uh, I can't. Uh, I don't wanna look. Oh, here we go. I'm so scared. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's gonna be so cheesy. Oh, that was oh, disappointing. Wow. Oh, I mean, there is a there is a busty Dorito waifu. Yeah, this. I like this. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know those Dorito and Mountain Dew Gamer Girls on oh, Newgrounds.com. I just got lightheaded. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, I just got lightheaded. This is going to be our, our new logo, by the way. Our new logo. Nope, 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 nope. No, don't care for that. Yep, that replaces the spooky linings <laughs> jack-o'-lantern. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Wow, you can tell the dude wrote this joke. It's a picture of a woman naked in, in a, a bathtub full of Doritos. Yeah. It's the Doritos dust playlist. <laughs> and it says, ideal situation, just get that chick out of the way. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> so I can eat my bathtub full of Doritos. Gross. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't. Oh, Ashley, I'm sorry this is the episode you're on. <laughs> no, I'm not. This is fantastic. This is perfect. Guys, this is fantastic. Oh, look at that. That's wow. Can we stop? <laughs> <laughs> Mally, you're not into this. No, I'm just hungry. <laughs> I am. Wait, does that say Dorito competition? Oh, never mind. That's Cool Ranch cologne up there. <gasps> you don't like the, you don't like this gif right here? Of this woman just <laughs> fucking hate Cool Ranch. I loved those guacamole flavored Doritos. Those Is are good. Is that two dudes sharing a Dorito? <laughs> yes, a giant Dorito <laughs> meeting in the middle of Lady in the Tramp style. I love it. How romantic. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> Doritos and Mountain Dew ramen. Audio podcast, guys. I don't even care that this is an audio only podcast. Oh no, guys. Is she giving birth to Doritos? Stop, stop. Guys. I need you to stop. That's Paula Pell from uh from AP Bio. God, this is a this is a Super Bowl ad? Wait, did that baby just like hard kick out of the womb? Yeah, it, did. it did. It pushed off. Look, look look right here. You can see the little on her belly. Look, watch. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's some possessor shit. Ah. Oh. And someone says, go long. I cannot feel good. There's a Doritos Pokemon card. Uh, I felt my new wallpaper for me. <laughs> <laughs> Doritos. Doritos everywhere. Guys, I'm sorry. This is what we turned into, but this is fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Actually, I take it back. <laughs> oh. God damn, that made that made Nathan cackle. Oh man, man, Dustin's saving a lot of images. I am so glad I'm on this episode. Is that Princess Zelda wearing a Doritos <laughs> like them. Danny Dorito. Dorito. <laughs> Danny Dorito. I'm seeing it all. <laughs> This is the hardest I think I've ever heard Dustin laugh since I, <laughs> since I told the story about the mom telling her kid I'm going to take them to jail when I worked at Borders. <laughs> Dorito flavored mouthwash. Oh, gross. <laughs> well, this has been fun. <laughs> Dustin, you okay, bro? Nope. <laughs> We're stuck on the Dorito mouthwash. All right. All right. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta change the page. I can't. I can't. <sighs> How stressed out are you guys during the scene where Steve Buscemi's playing with the little girl? Oh, like, isn't yeah. that just fucking like? Yeah. God damn it! Like you don't think she's making it out of there? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was gonna eat her. I thought he was gonna eat her for sure. Eat her like a Dorito. Thank God, Cage <laughs> shows up. Am I right? Yeah. Anyway, so at the end of this movie. There's a fire truck on the Las yeah. Vegas Strip now. Yeah. Um, so it's the final <laughs> night. It's, it's not Halloween, which is unfortunate. Yeah. But and speaking of which, there's no Halloween decorations in this movie, and it takes place in October. The fuck? Inside. I mean, if you were, if your every day was sp spooky, I don't know if you'd really want to <laughs> celebrate. Maybe that's true. <laughs> that's probably why the demon's fucking pissed. He's like, decorate you pieces of shit. <laughs> I get one holiday a year. <laughs> Dustin's like, no, Thanksgiving's a month away and they don't have any turkeys. <laughs> Just all these hungry man dinners. I'm also one of those people that's like, I don't do anything Halloween related till October 1st. Okay. And Priscilla is like, August 27th, time to put up the Halloween decorations. <laughs> Same. Same. Sure. And like, I, I'm not opposed to the idea, but I'm just like, she's also like Christmas tree goes up November 1st. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I like to enjoy my Christmas tree while I'm eating Thanksgiving dinner. It's just a thing I like to do. I can get, I can get, maybe, okay, that's fine. Put it up the day before <laughs> Thanksgiving. I put mine up the day after Thanksgiving. That's usually what I do. Day after Thanksgiving, yep. I do too. That's normal. That's normal. I just really like <laughs> holidays. Yeah. No, no, I, I'm not shaming you. I'm not shaming you at all. I'm not shaming you at all. I just. Oh, I am. That's fine. I can take that's it. That's just my, I, I don't get it. I don't get it like you put your christmas tree up on november 1st and you have kids get the fuck out sure do she helps me and i do my taxes in august so that's, uh... well, that's... yeah you're going to jail dustin <laughs> <laughs>
the, the, the August uh, after they're due? Yeah. Buddy, that's tax fraud. <laughs> so it's the last night. <laughs> Katie wakes up, gets out of bed, goes downstairs very methodically. Mm-hmm. Uh, you hear her in the pitch black just screaming. Uh, Mika runs downstairs. Yeah. You hear a struggle ensuing, and there's a moment of silence, and then Mika is just demon thrown into the camera. Mm-hmm. You see Katie there with the blood soaked shirt. She sniffs him. She sniffs him like a dog, and then she goes all Bilbo y. <laughs> she does. Yeah. And no credits. No credits. Nope. I, I wonder how much. I mean, this is probably a nothing crew. I was going to say, I wonder how much they had to pay the unions to get away with that, but probably nothing because there was probably no union members on this fucking movie. Right. Katie and Mika only got paid $500 at yep. first for their performance. Yeah, until the movie was picked up. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and then the movie went out and they're like, hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Uh, but two things I want to say. One, we didn't mention the scene where Katie gets drug out by her foot, which I genuinely think is a great scene. It's really good. So good. Yeah. It's scary as shit for sure. So good. It takes Mika too long to wake up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mika sleeps hard as shit, it seems like, in this movie. Yeah, he does. But the second thing is, yeah, let's talk about this ending because, okay, Mal, you know about this. I, uh, Ashley, you said you know about this, too. The person responsible for the um, the changing of the ending of this movie, Nathan, do uh-huh. you want to take a guess? I'm going to tell you it's a huge filmmaker is it steven spielberg it because is I, I, yeah okay okay i knew he was like attached in some way he he saw the end of the movie he's like you know it'd be better if she eats that camera i'm like <laughs> if she oh yeah what if she eats that camera <laughs> what girl i'd like to see you eat that camera the sequel is just the ghosts in her tummy well dc explain the original ending so there's actually a couple of different ones yeah. but the original one yes is the best one for me i agree it it goes out pretty much exactly the same uh she goes downstairs she screams make a run downstairs there's a struggle and then instead of me could be thrown into the camera katie comes back upstairs covered in blood blood knife in her hand and she sits down next to the bed and just rocks back and forth for days yeah mm-hmm. and there it even stops occasionally you can hear like their answering machine pick up and i can't isn't it like one of their friends calling or one of the moms or something i think so yeah yeah people trying to check on them yeah, yeah. people try to check in on them and eventually the a, a couple days go by and the police uh break into the house yeah and as they're coming upstairs gun drawn they see katie uh she snaps out of her trance and runs to the police for help after she sees she's covered in blood but forget she's holding a fucking knife yeah and they gun her down yeah right there in the bedroom night of the living dead style yeah yeah it's a great idea for an ending like yeah it's, the idea of her sitting there for days is so creepy yeah. so creepy and haunting and like it just it shows how much this thing is completely ruined her life right exactly yeah. and she gets a moment of clarity right before her death which is like Ugh. it's intense it's it's such a more lasting impact but i agree you gotta have them sequels man you gotta have katie right. show up and snap a dude's neck in the next movie. that fucking the cgi like transformation takes me out every time i see it's it terrible. it's so bad well and then there was also the ending that they never shot did you hear about that one oh. yeah there's actually two yeah there's two alternate endings and one one of them is my fucking favorite ending and i wish they had shot it because it sounds fucking rad okay. i think i know which one you're going to talk about I, it's the one where kitty uh K- kitty kitty <laughs> micah and kitty <laughs> kitty and moko yeah kitty and kitty and micah are downstairs <laughs> Uh, and it's the off-screen battle we heard, but then she comes upstairs, closes the bedroom door, gets close to the camera, and slits her own throat. Mm-hmm. Right. Not the one I was talking about. Didn't they? They did shoot that one, right? I think they did. I think they did shoot that one. It might be on the DVD. Yeah, that one was shot. And then the other one that was not filmed mm-hmm. was the idea where Katie goes downstairs. Katie goes downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Mika comes downstairs with the camera, but then she bludges him to death with the camera oh he deserves it i kind of dig that yeah <laughs> i really dig that actually and that would have been fucking rad i killed you with half of your salary from today right fucking pov just fucking God, oh, fucking Mika getting fucking destroyed. I dig that. There's been a movie like that, hasn't there? Where a camera gets shoved down someone's throat? No, no, no. Where a camera beats someone to death and like we're feeling... Well... Doesn't that, ha- doesn't that happen in Cloverfield and something? Maybe. Maybe. Halloween Resurrection has the camera with the stabby tripod. Oh, that's <laughs> well, true. Yeah, that's not what I'm thinking of. Where the guy gets the <laughs> tripod through the throat. That's not what I'm thinking of. But no, what about a combination of the original ending plus this one where she does bludgeon him to death and then she goes back upstairs, tosses the camera, and then you see her just rock 
fought back and forth for a couple of days. Yeah. That would have worked. Or she like beats herself with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just headbutts it constantly. <laughs> that would have been good. Are you thinking of the movie? Not like no one gets bludgeoned with a camera, but Enter the Void does start out with the camera fucking backing out of someone's vagina. Nope, no, that's not it. I can't, there is a movie. It's similar. Nope. Can't say that that's it. Oh, well. But <laughs> cute. Yeah, cute. cute. All right. Well. My only little bit of trivia here that I want to talk about really is my is Roger Ebert's review of this is mm -hmm. so amazing because my here's my favorite part of it. Yeah. Uh, he describes one part of the film uh, that he finds unrealistic and he says, quote, the couple call in a, quote, psychic expert, but he's no help. Uh -huh. He specializes in ghosts, he explains, and he knows by walking in the door that what's haunting them isn't a ghost, but some sort of demonic presence. He recommends a demonologist, but alas, this man is, uh, quote, away for a few days. Yeah, out of the country. That's the plot's most unrealistic detail. Having spent some time in my credulous days hanging around the bookstores in LA, I would suggest that California is, is a state with more practicing demonologists than published poets. <laughs> wow. He makes a good point, though. I love that. <laughs> he he had such a way with words, man. God damn it. That was so funny to me. Uh, and, and also, it's always really notable when Ebert gives a horror movie a good review because yeah. he was always a little iffy on them. Mm -hmm. It's also, I think it's worth noting that that DreamWorks bought the rights to this movie with the intention to remake it and put this movie as an extra feature on the DVD. Yeah. And then the test screenings went so well that they were just like, OK, well, I guess we can put this out without spending more money. I, I mean, think about it. You spend less than a half a mil on the rights to it mm -hmm. and then you pay, what, a couple million to market? This movie made uh, some fucking dough. Yeah. Like, for sure. It makes sense that there's seven of these. Yes. Now. I mean, again, it is a good point that found footage movies are incredibly cheap to make oh i i think i remember one uh puffy chair that's another good oh, it's not found footage but it is pov you made that up no 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 <laughs> this is a mark duplass movie yeah that's a great fucking movie actually i have not seen this yeah it's a mark duplass movie yeah it's like their one it's not their first movie but it's their i think it's their first feature length oh yeah it's one of their first mumblecore movies oh. yeah like i think that's the movie they made after they won sundance with that little short film about the answering machine yeah. wow it's fan dude all those all those mumblecore films from that time are fucking incredible okay yeah i'll check it out and i i got to see it when uh, mark duplass came to the florida film festival i had never seen it before mm. and he, he did a screening of it nice and then i got to meet him afterwards it was very nice kid <laughs> wait what <laughs> let's get into prop cop Oh, you said cute. I was like, I was like, Kit. Who the fuck is Kit? <laughs> Night Rider. That's the woman in the movie with Micah. Yeah. Guys, there's not a lot of good props in this movie. I mean, there's a lot of props. Nothing great. Mm -hmm. If any of you motherfuckers take the zebra print pillow, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I think, I, I think I'm pretty confident nobody did. Ashley, you are a guest. Why don't you tell me a prop from this movie that you think would be fun to have as a personal collection item? Oh, I want one of the the pieces of jewelry that Katie and Amber make together. Yeah. Yeah, I want a friendship bracelet, a little beaded <laughs> pair of earrings. That's what I want, too. I want a friendship bracelet. <laughs> All right. Well, Mally, what about you? Oh, not a goddamn thing. <laughs> You don't want the Ouija board? You don't want the pillow? No. I feel like that's you. that has you all over it. The pillow's trashy and the Ouija board is burnt. <laughs> I can't use this. <laughs> wow. Well, I wrote down, <laughs> I want that Line 6 guitar Ye so I could sell it and get a better one. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to buy that. No one's going to buy Dude, that. Dude, I looked up I looked up that guitar. It's going for like 700 bucks. Get the fuck out out i'm not kidding no yeah i hate it that blue one that he refers to his girlfriend as an instrument and then say oh yeah i'm talking about her <laughs> and then also uh, the guitar too <laughs> uh, <laughs> y'all take care <laughs> I, I don't know. Can we do bit part for this movie? I, I think we're all the psychic, right? Yeah. Like we want to leave. Oh, mine was Amber, the bead friend. Because <laughs> Amber says, fuck Mika. Yeah. Amber's like, fuck you, Mika. What are you going to do? I, I, I wrote down that I want to be the demonologist who's away for a few days. So <laughs> <laughs> don't even have to get involved. Dustin just wants a vacation. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Oh, none, none of you guys, none of you guys picked the good one. Oh, oh. please, enlighten us. The ghost? Yeah, I want to be the fucking demon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Guys, when I die, I am going to haunt the fuck out of people. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, that's, I thought you were going to say the fuck, haunt the fuck out of us. I'm like, that's implying that you're going to die before us, but I promise you, you won't. Right. <laughs> We're all dying the same day. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> Cute! <laughs> Does knowing that the sequels named the demon Toby make him even less scary in this one? <laughs> god damn it, Toby! I didn't know, I forgot about that, but I mean, it can't be any worse than Captain Howdy, right? Well, I guess Captain Howdy's kind of a creepy na name. Yeah. Uh-huh, is that what you call your penis? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't call, I'm not, I'm not Mika from 2007, I don't call it anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't call anything other than what it is, yes. It's a beautiful instrument. <laughs> 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 well, let's talk about silver linings. Sure. It's, it's kind of hard because... The, I mean, the body count of this movie is literally one. <laughs> That's something I also wanted to talk about was I feel like the demon throw is such an unimaginative uh, and uninspired way to kill people in a, a horror movie. Like, it's just, it's never good. Well, he's got to be dead before she does it because she's got blood all over her shirt. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, just again, you have one death in this movie. Give me something better. So the only movie... <laughs> <laughs> that maybe does well. I guess it's not a demon throw. Never mind. That's the only movie that I can think of recently that does like a horror movie, like a throwing somebody to kill them is Malignant, and that's <laughs> it. So still need to watch that. God, Nathan. I know. Nathan. I'm sorry. Duh. I have no free time. I'm doing this shit. <laughs> Same. I haven't watched it either. Guys, oh, you are in for a treat. Can't Please, wait. You could do it on your show. We, we should. should. Do yeah, we talked about it. I'm just when Nathan is busy, like I'm with Nathan. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they literally just released a How Did This Get Me on it so that should tell you everything you need to know <laughs> i know i know i can't wait i can't wait all right well let's talk about silver linings um who would like to go first i can go okay so in the meta narrative of the movie i'm assuming the families of katie and mika were paid pretty well for this footage oh handsomely oh sure yeah handsomely paid mm. yeah big if true big if true uh actually what about you uh mine is that Katie doesn't have to listen to Mika's shit anymore. <laughs> there you go. That's my silver lining. That's a win. Yeah. That is a win. It's a definite win. <laughs> and based on this movie's ending, she's not dead. No. no. So she lived she lived through that. So <laughs> Mally, are you trying to go last? Oh, honey, you know it. Oh, boy. Right. Well then mine was uh that the the psychic uh dr fredericks uh did exactly what the fuck meek and katie should have done and he got the fuck out of there yeah exactly <laughs> and because of that he was spared and i gotta say he was probably paid both times up front for coming to visit them so <laughs> right they venmoed him to come out exactly yeah i mean again you don't he would not make a house call and not be paid in some form uh -huh. uh, you get that money up front you get that money up front absolutely uh, go ahead, Mally. Uh, Cameron Poe gets reunited with his family. <laughs> <laughs> he put the bunny back down to... Uh, back in the box, <laughs> Back sir. in the box, you're right, my mistake. And, I mean, just goddammit, his beautiful lush flowing mane yeah. oh, beautiful in the breeze if we could see the demon i bet it would look like cameron pro <laughs> i can't not imagine that now yeah what i was gonna say earlier is this would be a very easy movie to a uh, movie to like add people in like uh -huh. like we talked about the tiptoe in by the bedroom door because it's a still shot you could easily just rotoscope somebody in there you could have cameron poe walking by in the background yeah hey D dc you're a quote editor in quote uh get on it i'll try i'll try Put prints from under the cherry moon in the hallway <laughs> oh when he's when he's doing the 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 it the meet meet cute with the Chris and Scott Thomas. Yes, he's like chewing on his little thumbnail, looking at her. Uh, please, <laughs> yes. Oh, that would be hilarious to put like in the bottom of the stairs, like just the top of his head. You see that, like the eyes. <laughs> oh, it'd be amazing. That's the low humming sound. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, last but not least, do we recommend Paranormal Activity Uno? I would say yes if you haven't seen it before i think it's a fun time yes. um i think it does lose something on repeat viewings if you're not alone absolutely watch it with a group mm -hmm. this would be a good group watch for sure i was just yeah. gonna say this is probably a great group watch i right, get it get a couple like you you know a couple friends you know throw this on take your pants off have a fun night sure mm -hmm. it's a good time there's drinking games all throughout this movie you could play i'm sure yeah yeah take a drink every time nothing 
fucking happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would recommend this movie. I, I, I do, I do like this movie a lot. Even, even with a repeated viewing. I mean, I haven't watched it in years before I watched it for this show. Yeah, but I do enjoy it. I was glad that I'd taken so long between viewings because mm-hmm. I feel like there were things that like still surprised me this time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I feel like Katie gives a great performance. I mean, she is earnestly upset the entire time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you have to give her credit. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I would I would definitely recommend it if someone has not watched it. Yeah. I mean, not to put a damper on things, but you know, I, I would have thought before this rewatch that you should just in terms of how to make a simple idea go a long way. Yeah. Some would say too long. I was going to say after now this putting this much distance between me and the movie that I, I can't recommend it because I don't know. I think this would work better as a short. You guys remember when they had that short film Lights Out that was fucking great? Yeah. yeah. And then they stretched it out to a feature and it was fucking awful. The movie's bad. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this would work as a short. I would say... I think the third one stands on its own really well, too. Yeah. So if you want to see, like, the best execution of this, like, just jump to the third one. Yeah. Or the funniest, watch the second one. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, again, the cultural impact is, these movies have had is, is pretty undeniable. Yeah, it can't be denied, for sure. They're so cheaply made, and they make so much money, and, you know, the general audiences seem to eat the shit up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bother with this new one. I didn't watch the last two, I think. They're bad. Uh, well, the the marked ones is fine. The ghost dimension is fucking garbage. I didn't hate the marked ones, but yeah, the ghost dimension was whatever. No, the cast is really good in the marked ones. I'm a bitch for a full story too. Like <laughs> where, when it all kind of like connects, I'm like, oh my god! Like I get my like cork board and my yarn out, and I'm like so into it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Who is Pepe Toby? <laughs> <laughs> is is the fourth one the one where they use the Xbox Connect? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think so. so. Yes. So stupid. It's so that's stupid. genuinely the worst one <laughs> yeah all right well I, is there anything else we want to say on the movie paranormal activity i think i'm all spoken ah, i'm good i'm activityed out yeah they should have done a yogurt tie-in with paranormal activia <laughs> <laughs> i don't know whether to put cheers or booze right there Definitely <laughs> both. Booze. just play both. both play both at the same time how about how about this <laughs> yeah just everyone's traumatized it's like disappointment <laughs> they're sad for me <laughs> A listener, if you feel differently and you think paranormal activity is is fucking great, or if you agree with us and you want to just let us know your thoughts, please feel free to send those in to us at the silver linings playlist at gmail.com, or you can DM us on uh, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, or even over on our subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash silver linings playlist. Uh, you can also suggest a movie that you think would be good for our show, although... Other than what we're what we're doing next week, which Miley's going to give us a clue for in a minute, our our schedule's pretty locked in for this season. But there's always next one, so get those suggestions in. Oh, did you want to? Did you guys have a, a double feature in mind? Oh shit! You know what? I did. I forgot to do that, didn't I? Let yeah. me get through, let me get through this part, and then we can go back to that. Sure. This is Dustin's first time on this show. <laughs> yeah. um. <laughs> um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that rating button give us some feedback let us know how we're doing and also please tell your friends and family about us that's the best thing you can do for our show is just word of mouth but yes let's talk about a a double feature also known as the pick me up this is where we suggest a movie you watch after paranormal activity um as a way to like balance things out get the spirits back up not make you so uh depressed or upset at the end of paranormal activity so Mm -hmm. um, why don't we start with you nathan since it was you reminded me (laughs) Um, yeah, if you if this movie didn't work for you, but you think the idea of a ghost fixating on someone since their childhood is interesting, uh, 1995's Casper. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> yes. yes. I was gonna put that on my list, honestly. Can I keep you? Yes. <laughs> that movie is a fucking hit. Introducing Devin Sawa. Oh, oh God, was it really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he plays Casper's human form. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah. Holy shit. God damn. Little Ashley was like into that movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dude. oh, when I, when I was a child. Ooh, Christina Ricci, come on now. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, same with Devin Sawa. Yeah, the Can I Keep You line was iconic. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else sweating all of a sudden, or is it just yes, me? Yes, I'm a little clammy. <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking about Fatso the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> How that food just drops all through his body. Yeah. I love oh. it. He's so hot. Man, we had to think with 90s movie and like 
just eating was just the worst to watch in 90s movies. It was always yes. disgusting. The chocolate cake scene in Matilda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Traumatizing. Iconic. I was thinking of also like uh, all the candy in uh, Kazam. Like it just made me want to barf. <laughs> oh, like, sure. <laughs> wow. Oh, Kazam was a terrifying film. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a movie I haven't thought about in years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's real bad. It's real bad. But that actually ties in nicely with my suggestion because I mentioned I wasn't that big of a fan of this franchise in terms of like being really into it but i do like the movies and i think if you want to watch another movie about ghosts and demons feeding off negative energy such as mika's in this movie sure ghostbusters 2 yeah which i think is great coming from the guy who started this saying he wasn't a big <laughs> ghostbusters fan yeah. i'm not a big fan but i enjoyed the movies I, I, ghostbusters I don't... 2 is underrated yeah i will I, I i mean it's not nearly as good as the first but i will i'll go to bat for it yeah there's also no ghost blowjobs in ghostbusters 2 <laughs> i know and that's honestly the worst thing about it yeah that's that that's its fault yep. for sure i felt like something was lacking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh ashley do you have a pick me up in mind um not so much a pick me up but i mean I, like i said earlier like i'm a bitch for the full story so i just say go ahead and watch the franchise <laughs> just watch all of them the whole, oh my god the whole franchise. damn yeah but like in chronological order so start out in the 80s and then start with three yeah so start with three and move forward and the next is attack of the clones mm -hmm. right and then rogue one or you do the machete <laughs> cut and you do three right right five right. one Four. <laughs> I prefer the machete cut of Paranormal Activity. Yeah, and then Rogue One's in there somewhere. Or, or you get, or you get Topher Grace to edit all the Paranormal Activities <laughs> into a one one hour movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just finish it out. Which I have, I have a copy of it. I've never seen. Oh, really? I don't think I ever will. You got a copy of his like re edit of the Star Wars movies? Yes. yes. Oh wow! I've not, never seen it. Oh. Never, probably never will. I watched Dustin's re edit of. Last Jedi. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. It was it was still a movie. <laughs> yeah, it's it's significantly better. I took out all the worst parts of that movie. <laughs> I love that that's like a whole thing where people are like, you know, in, in my spare time, I re-edit movies that exist. Like I like didn't didn't Topher Grace also do like one cut? Like he he like re-edited the Hobbit trilogy into one yes. like two hour movie that's supposed to be great. Yeah. What well, here's the thing. I'm not doing it as like one of these fucking like Star Wars guys are like, oh, it's, they fucking ruined everything. Like, no, I know you're you're not like I took out all the jokes and Shazam, yeah. <laughs> so that it fits the Snyderverse. I just want the art. <laughs> <laughs> I I genuinely just tried to make things make a little more sense for myself. Yeah. Like I took out the entire Canto Bite stuff because it made no sense to me. I'd love to check that out. That sounds great. <laughs> I'll have to send you a link to it. it yeah, man. It, it it got some positive reviews from people, so cool. that's all I can say. I also just wanted to see if I could do it. Yeah, I was in L.A. and Dustin showed it to me, mm -hmm. and it was a movie. He pushed play. Yeah, and it it played. I I just wanted to see if I could do it, and it it was it was definitely an experiment. So I will never probably do it again because it was too much work. Right, but. Yeah, Mally, pick me up. M Mally, pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pick me up. Carry me. <laughs> and those big, strong arms of yours. <laughs> My back hurts thinking about it. <laughs> hey, when, when, when you pick me up. Kiss me. <laughs> when I'm being fucked, I like to get kissed hey, a come lot. On. <laughs> he likes to get kissed. Oh, that's just, it's just going to be beard hair rubbing against each other. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you're right. I take it back. <laughs> no. Can't now. Ooh, buddy, I'm going to be in L.A. in like a week and a half. See you then. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing right now? Pick me, Pick up. me up. Oh. <laughs> um, so, you know, this movie, Paranormal Activity, they have a big house. And Jesus I'm going to go with another movie that has a house in it that has plenty Full of... Full house. <laughs> Smart house. <laughs> plenty of room space for activities oh no step brothers all okay. right what did you think i was gonna say nathan monster house or something no nah, man <laughs> so much they you know they put the bunk bed together right. so much room for activities <laughs> honestly i want paranormal activity but s with those two characters <laughs> i'd watch that that would be fucking amazing you know what Mika and, and katie should have done they should have had bunk beds that would have solved the <laughs> A lot of the problems. Oh, absolutely. Bunk beds solve everything. If I were dating Mika, I would make him sleep in a separate bed. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have to sleep in the teddy bear room. <laughs> Could you imagine if Katie was on the top bunk and the the demon dragged her out of that one? And <gasps> oh, <she's> oh, <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> she hits each of the steps on the ladder on the way down. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold up. Did any of y'all have bunk beds as a child? I did. I did not, but my my kids have them. That shit. No, that was a real fear. Yeah, falling off that top bunk. I fell off one and hit my head and so now you guys get why i'm like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> makes so much sense i once i was at my cousin's house 
and I had like a crazy fever and like the flu and shit. Uh-huh. And I was having this crazy nightmare where I had to win an ice skating rink in order to stop a volcano full of toothpicks from exploding and destroying the world. Oh, shit. Um, um, excuse me? <laughs> I remember waking up, rolling over the side of the bed and vomiting. The issue was I was on the top bunk. Oh, yeah. no. And my cousin had looked up to see what was happening, and I threw up on his face. Great. So it's a perfect storm. I hope he kept his mouth closed. Yeah. I, I think there's one last question. What? Which Dorito flavor would you guys recommend to eat with this movie? Oh, God. <laughs> I feel this is a spicy nacho movie. Mm, yeah. Mm. Teriyaki burger, apparently. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's a real thing. I know. I can't believe that's a flavor. Yikes. Well, here's the thing. I only like one kind of Doritos, and I'm a Cool Ranch guy. <gasps> I love Cool Ranch. I'm so glad you said that. You're fucking disgusting. Oh, shut up, Mally. No, they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> I've been waiting for that shit all season. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. <laughs> uh, Ashley just straight up said, You're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight you over Dorito flavors. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. No, I I mean, Mika, Mika seems like he'd be like, um, what's a, what's a really plain, like, is there just plain Doritos? Like, there's no flavor? I think just... there's like an original flavor. Uh, that's a tortilla, tortilla chips, chip. you asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unsalted uh, tortilla <laughs> chips. Yeah, I, He's like, I don't know. He's like a... He's like a normal Dorito, but like he's dipping it in like nacho cheese. No, Micah eats his Doritos with like mayonnaise. Like he, oh. that's what he. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look up the Doritos flavors. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Pause. This came up at work the other day. Banana and mayonnaise sandwich. Y'all <gasps> taking a bite? No, that's not real. Thank that you. can't be real. No, that is real. I went. I watched someone eat it with my own eyes that and is... almost threw up in my mouth. What? They brought it to pub in public? Yeah, they made it in the office. That's too much white. That's too much white. <laughs> that's a pale sandwich. I don't like the phrase "too much white" either. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. It's funny you say this because this guy was n- not white. <laughs> There's last call kebab. I southern fried chicken. I had no idea there was this much Ew, blue, blue grilled, grilled steak. steak it's like danny devito in uh arrested or uh always sunny he's like i'm making you some blue for breakfast what is that Ooh, cooler, cooler ranch, ranch. it's it, they just put sunglasses on the dorito that's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> there wait there's nuts nacho cheese wow hot limon dude there's so many flavors of doritos there's four cheese with an exclamation <gasps> point garlic shrimp there's peking duck Go- <laughs> <laughs> Gourmet sausage. You know what? This this is this is Mika's right here. Hot, hot corn. Hot corn. <laughs> Doritos hot corn. Oh, I like the Israeli flavors. Doritos in an orange bag. Oh, we also <laughs> wait, hang on. There's also Doritos jacked Boston garlic shrimp. Yes. <laughs> Don't know. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Gross. Golden toast crack. Yeah. Oh, nope, nope. This is his. This <sighs> is his right here. Ketchup. Yep. Doritos ketchup. That's him. That's Mika's talk. That's his Doritos. That's Doritos it. ketchup flavor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad we solved that mystery. Mega Mega what? What? <laughs> Salsa. <laughs> Wait, hang on. There's one that's just called Doritos The Quest. <laughs> <laughs> It's when you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, when you're trying to open the bag at, the, at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, the Doritos franchise is better than Paramal Activity. <laughs> Does that say Doritos Roulette? Dude, they're so... Mr. Dragon's Fire <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Doritos, Pizza, La Curry, Monterey. Oh, That's good. my God. Wait, the Fast and Furious presents Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper bacon? Too Dorito, too cheesy. <laughs> National Lampoon's Doritos. <laughs> Holy shit. Guys, I forgot to mention, by the way, this episode is sponsored by Frito-Lay. I don't know yeah. if I forgot. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> can't wait. Hang on. Don't sleep on Doritos, a Spike Lee joint. That's good. Oh, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. I, I'm closing the tab. I'm closing the tab on Doritos. Is there anything else we forgot to talk about before we get a clue for next week? You know, I think we talked everything Doritos related that has to, definitely has to do with paranormal activity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, well, Mally, this is going to be a surprise to all of us because you have not picked what next week's movie's going to be. Yeah. So I'm thrilled to do last minute research and viewing of a movie. So why don't you give us a clue? 
next week we are going home okay. oh interesting that could mean a lot of different things yeah hmm. homeward bound mm-hmm. an american tale fuck you guessed it <laughs> really no we're not doing homeward bound <laughs> oh okay i was like that has a that has a happy ending well we should be can we call an audible <laughs> it's like i'm fucking i'm fucking down because i love that movie i don't remember which one if it's the first or the second one but we could definitely do a whole episode on when shadow falls in that that mud pit it's the second one oh yeah because they think he get he they think he got hit by a train yeah <laughs> yeah that's that was the most depressing shit i've ever saw as a kid yep. that was re- too real too real oh all right well ashley thank you so much for coming on you were a fantastic guest <gasps> thanks for having me thanks for having me this was so fun i enjoyed it uh, actually please plug your show for us yeah so i host southern haunts podcast it is a weekly show where i just talk about spooky and creepy things from the south um things like the donkey lady or hug and molly and then also some true crime oh interesting so yeah it's a little spooky little podcast okay and where can people find that any anywhere podcast are anywhere they get podcasts right yeah anywhere that you listen to podcasts it's out there on all platforms fantastic and then nathan and i have a podcast together called oh that's a scary movie yeah. also on all platforms yeah where we talk about uh, scary movies right on i'm sure if you enjoyed this episode you'll probably enjoy that oh so yeah for sure sounds fantastic when we do paranormal activity two three four five six we'll have you back on. <laughs> sure have me back i love that shit all right <laughs> Well, guys, uh, I think we did it. We did it. I think we talked everything we could talk about with this movie. So let's get out of here. Last but not least, rest in peace, Oatmeal. And, and Donald, Donald Pleasant. <laughs> oh, and should we do a rest in peace, Micah or Mika or no? No, no. fuck that no. guy. No. All right. So rest in peace, Oatmeal and Donald Pleasant. Hopefully you're both in the same area <laughs> of heaven. <laughs> they are eternally locked in battle in hell. You are so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little friend. Please tell me all of your secrets. Get your ass away from there. <laughs> and as always, Excelsior. Excelsior. Put the bunny back in the box. Low humming. Low humming ensues. <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Excelsior. 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 Oh. Look it up. Hello YouTube! If you've made it this far, thanks! Could you do us one more favor? Could you hit those like and subscribe buttons? Maybe leave us a comment on what you think of the show. We'd really appreciate it. Join us again next week for an all new episode. Bye!